Here on planet Earth, objects accelerate due to gravity at the same rate. Here's an example. I'll take these two pens and I'll drop them and they hit the table at the same time. That's no surprise. We might expect that because these pens are the same weight. But what if I took two pens and joined them together to make a single object? Now this object is obviously twice as heavy as this one, but when I drop them to the table, they still hit the table at the same time. The acceleration due to gravity here on planet Earth acts or gives the same acceleration to all objects regardless of their mass. Here's another one. I've got a piece of paper that I've wadded up into a ball and a koosh ball that is much heavier than the piece of paper and when I drop them they hit the table at the same time. We call this free fall acceleration and what that means when we say the word free fall we, it means we neglect the effects of the air. If we don't uh, neglect the effects of the air, then we can see there's quite a big difference. Here's a single piece of paper that's not crumpled into a ball, and the same size piece of paper that is crumpled into a ball, and when I drop them, obviously, this one hits the table first. It accelerates faster, because this one is very susceptible to the effects of air resistance of the wind acting on the piece of paper. Why didn't we see as obvious uh, a, a, an effect on these two objects? Well, that's because at slow speeds, those objects aren't really moving very fast yet, at slow speeds, the effects of the wind are negligible. They're barely noticeable. So when we're talking about free fall acceleration, that's what we're going to be talking about. The times when the air resistance or the effects of the wind are negligible. Atmospheric pressure. Three, two, one. Vacuum. Three, two, one.